<laughs> Here we go. Best Bitcoin miner in the world for now. The Bitmain Ant Miner S21 Pro. This is a new generation of Bitcoin miners. At a glance, it looks the same. The fans are bigger. They're more powerful. Look at the top. This is not the same control board cover piece as the previous generation. Notice this, different. We saw this teased with a L- little LCD here readout on it. Would have been so freaking cool, but it looks like that didn't make the cut. We have a micro USB port, right? Typical re- reset button, IP report, ETH port, right? The new style power cable. It also comes with the power cable and obviously the associated power supply. This is the best, the most powerful, the most profitable Bitcoin miner in the world right now, for now, but not by the end of the year. I'm Boss, you're on the Boss Queen YouTube channel. I've been working hard to build out my own Bitcoin and crypto mining farm, right? We've got a bunch of miners plugged in there in the pod, right? We have the gray immersion mining shed. We have, what, 30-something miners being liquid-cooled. And the green shed has nothing to do with ASIC mining. But we are building our own little mini data center, maybe a new AI cluster, and of course, hard drive mining in there. So I'm gonna get this thing hooked up. It is hot out here. And uh, this is gonna be deployed in the air-cooled environment, right? So we're gonna go and plug this into the digital shovel mini pod. Hey guys, it's Miss Vosk here to tell you about today's video sponsor, Trunk, which is a Solana-based token through Elephant Money. They want to become the first decentralized community bank of its kind. Trunk also has a permissionless pool on Solend, which is kind of like Aave, a decentralized application where users supply capital and are rewarded for it. The pool has an APR of over 10% and has had rates spike as high as 200%. Trunk has undergone two audits where only minor issues came up. To see how to purchase Trunk, you can also check out our walkthrough on our ZK airdrop video. To learn more about Trunk and Solend, check out the link in the video description below. Please make sure you understand the risks of permissionless pools before investing. The Bitmain Ant Miner S21 Pro. It's nothing short of impressive. Huge shout out to Million Miner for helping us get this in quickly and they made today's video possible. So sincerely thank you to them for that. We're an affiliate with them, but more importantly for you, we've got a coupon code to save you some coins. So I've got the link out and the code down in the video description below. Again, we're looking at the S21 Pro. There's only one S21 Pro out model variation at this time. That's the 234 terahash a second at 3000. 510 watts it is a big boy and it's not a cheap miner but it's not priced very differently than say just an s21 for about a 500 dollars difference here you're getting almost 50 additional terahash that's half of an entire last generation s19 bitcoin miner so here are most of my bitcoin miners uh, they're on this pool and we can see the s21 when ranked by its average hash rate over the last day is best in class It's outperforming both of my s21s my my m60s is not on this pool at this time uh, So this is supposed to do 234 terahash seconds when we look at the average hash rate here It is consistently performing as it's intended and actually a little bit beyond I'm realizing about an extra three terahash a second of mining power Uh, over the advertised amount. That's a pretty interesting and important number, especially with all these little mini miners that have been popping up that do a couple terahash a second. It's like I have that little nano miner just built on top of this thing for free. Sure, why not? Over the last 24 hours, $25 million of Bitcoin have been emitted on the Bitcoin network. It is the most profitable coin to mine by an absolute massive margin. The closest would be Dogecoin with 1.5 million truly pales in comparison. Keep in mind though that Doge is merge mined with Litecoin, so it's actually closer to about 2 million daily. 
than Caspa and other cryptocurrencies that we frequently talk about. To put some mining earnings into perspective here, I mean, what does a 90 terahash a second miner get you? So that would be like a down clocked S19. You're trying to run a little bit more efficiently. Let's just take this. Those are about the highest earnings uh, in recent history. And that device costs at its current power draw like six something dollars a day to run. And it's only making about four bucks. And that's six bucks at like 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And this really illustrates how hard it is to be profitably mining Bitcoin on a small scale or at a residential electric rate. And, and to note a good residential electric rate of 10 cents per kilowatt hour. The S21 Pro has some of the best efficiency in Bitcoin mining in the world ever. 15 watts per terahash. But it does pale in comparison to the S21 XP Hydro that's coming out later this year. That is just, wow, nothing short of a behemoth. A 473 terahash in one mining unit. But I will say it does have a power consumption closer to two units. Regardless though, this is the best air-cooled miner. I mean, look at it. Would, would, would you just look at it? Uh, the Bitcoin break-even price for this at this rate is going to be a 44K Bitcoin. We look at the electricity cost ratio, which is basically how much of your profits the electric bill is soaking up. It is one of two miners in the green here. Remember, the XP series of the new uh, ant miners are coming out late 2024. So the S21 Pro is absolutely the best available mining rig for the next several months. Let's say you've got an average mining farm rate. We're gonna say that's about six cents. Completely changes the game. If you're a bigger scale miner, or you have a just a straight up better electricity rate, or maybe your rates effectively lower because you offset it with something like solar, then this is a lucrative miner mining the most profitable, stable, long-lasting cryptocurrency, the godfather of crypto, pulling in $11 a day, costing only $5 a day to operate, putting $6 into your pocket. It's interesting. And while at a lower electricity rate, a lot of other miners quickly become viable, none of them as viable as the S21 Pro. This is a rig that while I've only had it running for about three days, right? Just got this in, it's brand new. Uh, these are just coming out. It's It's been stable. My initial impressions are that it's much better than that original batch of S21s that myself and many other people had many problems with. It's running in my digital shovel, mini pod, right? That little Bitcoin mining container thing. And I've got three of the four fans on in there. And right now, it's about 90 degrees outside today. And not a cloud in the sky. So it's hot. Uh, and the pod's packed. It's literally running at my full electrical capacity. And we can see the chip frequency here. Hardware errors, low. Fan speed, pretty high. Chip temps, good. Right, everything's good, everything's fine here. So this is me, I've remoted into the rig, right? Default logins for ant miners are root, root for the user and the password. Root for one, root for the other. Uh, you go to the settings, you can put in your mining pool information, username, dot worker name, or maybe you're using a pool where you use an actual Bitcoin address. Passwords don't matter, you save it, uh, and then you're good to go. There's sleep and low power modes, and you can manually set a fan setting in here. This is the biggest miner that you've ever seen. Let me just let me just remind you of that. This is a big boy. There's no disputing that the Bitmain Ant Miner S21 Pro is basically the best Bitcoin miner you can get your hands on right now. Micro BT seemed like they were very much ready to compete with Bitmain when the S21s came out. The M60S and M other M60 line of their Bitcoin miners came out at a very similar time. Uh, and the M60S had the C20, C19 ready power cable that many miners like myself were accustomed to. Uh, it, it performed very well. The initial batch of the Micro BT What's Miner M60 series compared to the Bitmain Amp Miner S21 series, What's Miner won, hands down. The point though is that 
they West Miner sells as many miners as they possibly can and keep taking orders and orders and orders and orders and their miners even carry a premium over the S21s. But Bitmain is back with a bigger and literally better miner that outperforms these. And we'll see if the quality control is there, but as it stands in this just one minor initial review, it's winning, it's better. And for basically uh, the same power consumption, you're getting a significant bump in mining hash rate. Uh, we're talking potentially like about 50 tera hash of additional mining power for about the same power consumption or maybe an additional 100 watts. Basically nothing in the grand scheme of the mining game. So uh, I'm impressed. Uh, Efficiency is king, really for most people, right? If you're mining on a small scale, getting the most efficient miner is going to be the best thing you can possibly do, especially if you're like diehard Bitcoin, you wanna mine Bitcoin and you wanna directly mine Bitcoin, right? Uh, instead of indirectly mining it with say like an altcoin miner and then getting Bitcoin payouts and so forth. Efficiency is going to give you the biggest longevity with that miner, or it means that you'll need less solar to effectively offset it, right? And then if you're building a medium and a large scale mining farm with more hash rate, right? You get more density. You're only gonna be able to pull so much electricity, but many people are even more so limited by just straight rack space. I would much rather maintain five S21 Pros than say 20, S19s and so forth. And someone may be like, well, if only one or 20 goes down, it's not that big of a deal. Sure, uh, that sounds great in theory, but when you actually manage a mining farm, like I do, the more devices you have, the more difficult and cumbersome it is. I would rather manage 20 miners that do the same work as 100 miners, even if it's more risky if something goes down. Get a couple spare parts. Bitmain has been doing a good job with their warranty stuff. You open a ticket, you send it, no one that really ever says anything to you, and you get it back, and it works. Uh, that's been my experience with the last three miners that I warrantied uh, with them. So, yeah, S21 Pro so far is very impressive. It, it's seeming like a professional rig. <sighs> Maybe I was trying too hard with that one. <laughs> I'm Voss here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider supporting us by subscribing if you like this content and utilizing our links that support the channel and coupon codes that support both of us, but more importantly you, down below. That helps keep all this content going. As always, I hope you're having a good day and we're gonna close this out with, of course, our CMO, the fan favorite, the chief mining officer, Tails Freaking Bosk.